Alright, hello guys, I'm back with some talking videos, I haven't made one of these in a very, very long time, but today, Steven Goskowski got placed on injured reserve, so I'm here to announce that to some of you. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about it already, but I'm just going to give my opinion, and at the end, I would ask that you do leave your opinion in the comment section below, and also leave new video suggestions for talking videos like this, I want to start uploading on this channel a lot more, so if you guys leave suggestions, it would make it a lot easier for me. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like Patriot related content. Let's get right into things. Now like I said, Goskowski has been placed on the injured reserve and what's important to note is only two players can be lifted out of the injured reserve per season after week 8. And with the amount of game changing players we do have on injured reserve, it's extremely unlikely that he would be one of them in my opinion unless we're having drastic drastic uh, problems at the kicker position obviously we would like to pull him back out if we feel that he's healthy but the thing right now is that we have obviously Nikhil Harry on injured reserve and we'd like to lift him out because his injury didn't seem too major so I'm sure he's gonna obviously be ready to play at a 100% level after week 8. Also we have Isaiah Wynn on the injured reserve as well and hopefully he'll be ready to come back because I know all of you have probably noticed by now that we have serious, serious issues at the offensive line, especially left tackle is extremely important so to have Isaiah Wynn back would be completely game changing and it would be very, very good to get him back as well as Nikhil Harry so... Uh, the likelihood of having Goskowski back, it would take us having, you know, extreme issues at the kicker position, obviously probably missing, you know, 50, 40 percent of the kicks, uh, field goals or extra points we attempt. That would be it would take something like that for us to bring him off of injured reserve. In my opinion, it would take extreme problems. Now back to Goskowski, he had almost a perfect game one where he didn't miss a field goal or an extra point, but for some reason after that point, we've only had three games after the Steelers game, and he's missed four extra points and one field goal in three games. That's extremely bad, so I don't know if something has changed since week one, if he's been you know injured or sore since then, uh, or if we just got lucky and he was having a really good game in week one, but really this has been a long-term issue. It's very unclear at this point, but apparently it's due to some sort of lower body injury that he's been dealing with for a while now. That's what I've heard. Uh, and yeah, so he's been struggling since the beginning of preseason. I remember him missing a few extra points and field goals during preseason. So this has been kind of a long term issue in my opinion but I honestly think he's been on the decline since the AFC championship game in 2015 versus the Broncos a lot of you might not remember this and if you don't you probably hate for me to even remind you but uh, he did miss an extra point in that game and that's what led us to have to go for two points at the end of the game when we scored a touchdown we scored six points and we were down by two at that point but if earlier in the game he would have made that extra point we would have only had to have made one more extra point and we would have tied up the game and gone overtime obviously giving us a 50 percent chance to win that game uh, whereas when we were down by two uh, it was kind of odds were against us by that point so honestly he blames himself for that game uh, I blame him for that game and uh, we obviously there's other things that could have happened but it is partially his fault at least that we lost that game ultimately uh, and I feel like his confidence has been on the decline since then, and it's really shown up from time to time since then. He has a lot of clutch moments. You know, he's made like a field goal in last year's Super Bowl. I know, I think he missed a field goal as well in the beginning of that game, and he's missed a few extra points and field goals in playoff and Super Bowls in years past since that 2015 season. But I know last year he did make a clutch field goal there at the end to put us up by two possessions. So there is some really good moments mixed in with the bad moments as well. But he certainly hasn't been the player that he was before 2015. And I'm not trying to be ungrateful because I know there's a lot of way worse kickers that are starting in the NFL and that we have been significantly lucky. But uh, this year it's been a major issue and I trust Belichick to find a better option potentially. If there is a better option out there that is available... I trust Belichick to find that person. But if ultimately, if there is no better option than Gostkowski, then it obviously will not be found because it doesn't even exist. But if there is one, I trust Belichick to find that kicker uh, to fill in those big, big shoes. And uh, that kind of raises the question of if when Gostkowski is healthy, would he even get the starting job back if we did find a very solid kicker here? very soon. Uh, the interesting thing is that by this Sunday, we will have a new player kicking extra points and field goals for the Patriots, which I still hasn't even set in for me. That's just crazy to think about. 
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, leave suggestions down below for new videos you think I should make. I'm going to be doing highlight videos from time to time. And at the end of the season, I am collecting film on all the players on the Patriots to make awesome highlight videos at the end of the season. Uh, I used to bring, you know, some of the best highlight videos for Patriots players that anybody was making at the time in 2016 and 2017. I took a year off, but this year I'm going to be back in the game and making some awesome videos for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.